Hi, my name is Joseph Park, the WWE Champion of the World, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Now, hopefully a lot of you guys will remember that a couple of years ago when Dan Dubois was just bursting onto the scene, one of the things that I was saying was, I hope that with under the, the guidance of Frank Warren, that Frank Warren doesn't push Dan Dubois too fast, too quick, throw him in at the deep end far too soon. Because what we don't want to see is a Frank Bruno-esque. Because Frank Warren played a part in Frank, in Frank Bruno's career. Of course, so did Barry Hearn and a couple of other people. So Frank Warren, I was always getting the impression that he was so desperate to have what Eddie Hearn had, which was, of course, Anthony Joshua. He signed this excellent, outstanding amateur in Darren Dubois. Even though Dubois, he has no Olympic pedigree or anything like that, but he did have 75 amateur fights, which isn't bad, but it's still not a hell of a lot. And a very, very young guy. I didn't want to see him fast-tracked. So him taking on some of the guys that he was taking on, I was happy with. I know some of you guys just want to see how good he really is. Is he really the, the Neo from the Matrix? Is he the chosen one? Is he going to go on and conquer not just British heavyweight boxing, but world heavyweight boxing? And fingers crossed that he does, okay? But the way that Frank, Frank Warren was guiding him, I was like, good on you. Excellent stuff, okay? There's no point in pushing him to try and replace Anthony Joshua just yet. Progress him nicely, slowly, build him up, build him up. When he's had like 20 fights or so, let's start seeing really what he's made of. But all the way that he's been going through, absolutely fantastic. And I can't fault Frank Warren with Down to Bar's career whatsoever. Now, with Frank Warren lately, where he's talking about, well, let's make Down to Bar against Dillian White. Let's make Down to Bar now against Alexander Usyk if. Anthony Joshua has to vacate the WBO World Heavyweight title because there's quite a good chance of that as Usyk, and I'll do a separate video on that one, has said that he is not going to be stepping aside to allow Joshua versus Fury for Undisputed. It's a case of you either fight me as the WBO mandatory or you can go fight Fury, but I want to force you to vacate the WBO. So Frank Warren is saying, let's make the mandatory, the number one, in Alexander Usyk versus currently the number three, Daniel Dubois. Why is Daniel Dubois number three? Because he's a Frank Warren fighter. Frank Warren has a very, very good relationship with the WBO, as does Bob Arum. These guys get fast-tracked to world title level, okay? So that's why he's number three. Now, first of all, if that belt did become vacant, that fight is unlikely to happen because the WBO, what they would do is they would order Alexander Usyk versus number two, Joseph Parker. That's how it would be. But if for some reason Parker didn't want to take the Usyk fight or whatever it may be, and Dan Dubois versus Usyk, I mean, listen, Dan Dubois, he's a phenomenal puncher and he's one hell of an athlete. And being very, very young as well, there's a lot to be looked at when you look at Dan Dubois to go, you know what? He could well be the real deal. But let's be honest, with the fights that he's been fighting, which, as I said earlier, I agree with him. But he has... But he has been through, not troubled water, but he has been rocked by a Richard Latte. Of course, Richard Latte, he's, he's going to be taking on Nathan Gorman next soon. Um, he has um, gone the distance with a Kevin Johnson. Again, there's nothing wrong with going the distance. Down to Bayern needs rounds. And, of course, he is coming up against a uh, Joe Joyce, which is a real acid test for him, in my opinion. But with other names, yes, okay, we could say Nathan Gorman. That's a pretty good win, that's for sure. Nathan Gorman, again, he had problems in his lead up in the camp, obviously with his uh, little boy, his, um, I think his wife was pregnant and all kinds of other things going on. That wasn't the best Nathan Gorman on the night. And I think most of you guys would agree with that. But Dan Dubois, who knows? Now, in the unlikely event that Frank Warren is serious and he would actually put him in there with Alexander Usyk, first of all, I have to question, is Frank Warren just trying to cash him out now? Which goes back to what I was saying at the beginning of the video, that when Frank Warren signed him, I was worried this kind of thing was going to happen. But to be truthful, I was more worried that it's going to happen a little bit sooner than what it is right now. But I understand some of the comparisons with, say, Joshua. Okay, When Joshua had 14 fights, he took on Gary Cornish. That was his um, another undefeated opponent for Anthony Joshua. Down to Bois, he just come off of his 14th win against that... Uh, uh, Ricardo Schneider, wherever he was, who, who came to lie down, let's be honest. And his 15th fight, Joshua, he took on Dillian White. 
And from that moment on, after he beat Dillian, um, Dillian White, became a superstar. Especially after his next fight, becoming world champion, become a, a huge superstar, pay-per-view, all that kind of stuff. So is he trying to do what Joshua had done? Now, Joshua, of course, he's had, what, just over half the amount of amateur fights as what Dan Dubois has, but he has that world-level amateur. He has that Olympic amateur background. Dubois doesn't. So with him going in with, say, Joe Joyce in his 15th fight is mirroring what Joshua done with Dillian White in his 15th fight. Now, let's be realistic here. There's nothing wrong with Frank Warren talking about Dan Dubois, maybe taking on a Dillian White, taking on an Alexander Usyk, but I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, the level that Dan Dubois has been fighting at to the leap that Frank Warren wants him to do is very, very Frank Bruno-esque. I grew up a huge, huge fan of Frank Bruno. But we could see, even for me at that very, very young age, you could see that the kind of opponents that Frank Bruno was fighting, and many of you guys will remember, they were knockover fights, much like Dan Dubois has been having so far, knockover fights. So when you step up, this is where your real acid test comes in. You're, you're gonna be okay for a few rounds, you can be very, very dangerous. Once you start to get tired and you get hit on that button, you're in trouble. I know many, many heavyweights. In fact, a very good friend of mine, Stephen Robinson, um, he's 3-0 and heavyweight, and he says, if there was an opportunity for me to fight a Daniel Dubois, fight a Anthony Joshua, a Tyson Fury, a Deontay Wilder, a Andy Ruiz, I'll take it. No problem, I'll fight. Because this is what fighters do. But you need people behind you in your team to save you from yourself. You've heard the saying before. And this is what Frank Warren's supposed to be doing, as well as Daniel Dubois' management team as well. He's supposed to be looking after his best interest. You don't throw him in there with Dillian White. I know people probably scoff, oh, well, Alexander Povetkin, he beat, yeah, that's Alexander Povetkin with one punch and he was getting battered in that fight. Now you're talking about Alexander Usyk. Well, why aren't we talking about, because Frank Warren, he has a very good relationship with uh, Bob Arum. Frank Warren, Bob Arum, they're like, crackers and cheese, aren't they? Okay, you put them together, they can come up with some Pretty decent fights. Down to Bois, you'd be looking at, say, Bob Arum's other fighter in, say, uh, Ajit Kabiel. These kind of guys. If Kubrat Pulev comes up short against Anthony Josh, we'll touch with that he does, then be looking at a Kubrat Pulev versus a Down to Bois. Gradually. What you don't do is throw him in there with a Dillian White. What you don't do is throw him in there with a Alexander Usyk. Of course, with Usyk, he's not the biggest puncher in the world, but at the same time, he will tie you out. He will wear you down. He will pepper you. And eventually, as the going gets tough, the rounds get deeper, that's when he will make an almighty assault on you. And if you don't have the engine, Usyk will just maul you. Usyk is a very, very skillful fighter. In fact, Usyk has a win over Joe Joyce. Okay? Now, why are we not hearing Frank Warren talking about, well, why don't we get Luis Ortiz first? Down to Bois. Why don't we get Andy Ruiz Jr. against Daniel Dubois? Why don't we get F.A. Jagba in with Daniel Dubois? And the list goes on. Why is it that he's focusing on matchroom fighters? Why is that? Does he really need matchroom? Does he? Is he really struggling? Of course, we know Frank Warren, he has lost a few top fighters, a Josh Warrington and B.J. Saunders, a Zelfa Barra, and the list goes on, all, all going over to the matchroom stable. But is he that desperate now to, to look at Dan Dubois and go, listen, I know you're young. I know you haven't had a great amateur background. You've only had just over a dozen uh, uh, professional fights. Sink or swim, baby. Sink or swim. If not, no worries. No problem. You come up short against um, Joe Joyce. No worries. I'll put you on a scrap heap. Like Frank Warren has done with quite a few fighters who've taken a loss. He talks about and he harps about them. This and the other. They take a loss. And then you don't hear from them again. They go under the radar. They can't get a fight for love and the money. Is that going to happen with Daniel Dubois? Because the way that he's talking, if he's serious about some of these fights, Daniel Dubois is going to get done. Of course, Dubois, I mean, you'd never have to write him off. Of course not. He's, he's a huge old unit with massive, massive power. But how is he about taking it around the whiskers? If Joe Joyce presses him and puts Daniel Dubois through hell, and Dan Dubois comes through it and beats Joe Joyce. Hey, let's talk about Dan Dubois versus White. Let's talk about him versus Usyk. Let's talk about him against anybody that you want to talk about him. But if he just goes in there, 
hits Joe Joyce on the button and stops him in the first couple of rounds, he still hasn't had that acid test yet. And there's only so long you can do that. I mean, look at Wilder. When he finally stepped up, he got blasted. He got humiliated. I don't want the same thing to happen with Dan Dubois. For me, when he's mentioning Alexander Usyk, don't be mentioning Alexander Usyk in the same breath as Daniel Dubois right now. As I said, I want to see Dan Dubois. Of course I'll do. I want to see him as the finished article, though. I don't want to be seeing him derailed like a Frank Bruno was. Of course, Frank Bruno, he eventually got his world title, of course. But he had to go through so much stuff, so much flack, so much self-doubt, confidence at all-time low, knowing that when the distance starts to get going, he's going to get tired, he gets hit on the chin, he's done. And people are always on the edge of their seat with it. But Frank Bruno was a charismatic character. Who, oh, 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 you know what I mean, Harry? See, the people loved him. British people loved him with his pantomimes and all this kind of stuff. Daniel Dubois, I don't know, it's like he can't string a sentence together. It's like he's self-conscious. So he's not coming across to the public. So you can't sell Daniel Dubois the way that Frank Bruno was. So Daniel Dubois, he can't take that kind of loss and still be adored by the British public right now. It can't happen. And it will not happen. And I know I'm sounding negative and I don't mean to be. It's just that I want to see Daniel Dubois progressed the right way. That's what I want to see. Daniel Dubois doesn't have that growing up fighting on the streets background. He doesn't have that kickboxer background. He doesn't have a lot of that kind of stuff. All he knows is go forward and hit your opponent until they go down. That's what he knows. So talk about Alexander Usyk, absolute madness, absolute madness. Anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you all in the next video.